Hi guys, welcome back to Sandy Dunes Tarot. I'm Sandra and um, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Um, I want to apologize because the cards, the whole reading had been done and I was about ready to upload and I tried um, but I've had, I had some technical difficulties and the, the video got deleted and I couldn't find it anymore. So something about the iCloud and about the iMovie or whatever, I guess I messed up there somehow. So I lost it, but I had the, my French version. And so I went ahead and, and just, uh, got all the cards out in the same order. Okay. So I want you, I want to thank you, um, for watching my video for subscribing, commenting, sharing, liking. Um, if you have any questions, anytime, please go ahead and ask. Um, I don't really, I do do personal readings, um, but at home. So I haven't set that up yet. I don't know how to do that yet. So I'm, I'm still in the process of uh, checking everything out. I'm gonna make all kinds of videos and um, so I'm, I'm only just starting out. And um, so let's go ahead and start. I started with my Rider Weight deck. And the first card that came out is the Knight, was the Knight of Cups right here. Okay, so this is a love reading um, for July 15th to the 31st, by the way, for collective, everybody. So it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does resonate and go with that so the knight of cups came out first then we have the eight of swords the eight of swords and then we have the six of pentacles that came out so what i'm feeling is that There's a situation happening and you're not seeing the big picture of it. You're not, you don't know about all of it. You don't know. There's stuff going on in the background and the behind the scenes of the situation that you have no idea about. So there's also some sadness there because you don't know everything and it's hard not to know everything. We want to know everything because it's like walking in the dark, but something, there's something sometimes positive about not knowing what maybe the less, you know, the better, I think like the Tame Impala song. Anyway. Yeah. Maybe the less, you know, the better. So, like a curious mind like mine just goes nuts over things like that, but it's like a work in progress and I try to breathe and accept the fact that I, I won't know everything and that's it, you know, that's it. Uh, but the Knight of Cups is uh, oftentimes a messenger, someone coming towards you with an offering. See, he's offering, offering you something. And uh, oftentimes it's about that. Maybe um, you were in a situation where you've been waiting for a long time for this person to, you know, what, come along and, and, and sweep you off your feet. And hey, you, it's you. It's you that I want. Um, he's possibly coming towards you right now. Or it could be someone new. Um... So again, it's like a, a, a water sign, possibly Pisces, maybe, maybe not, but someone with, um, with that in their, in their chart, water in their chart. Okay. So this person might be coming towards you, but then you're not, you don't even know what's going on. You don't even know. You're not really expecting this person to come. You're really not. You don't know. You don't even know this per that this person is even even thinking about you. You don't even know. You just don't know anything. You're like sitting in the dark there and you're just really sad or trying to get out of that sadness. Um, there is also the possibility, of course, the outcome of the Six of Pentacles oftentimes is very positive. It's very, very positive. 
there's a lot of abundance there um, but I don't know why I get the feeling this is like a third party situation maybe there's someone else and this person is kind of sharing themselves between two people possibly one more than the other one maybe a little bit more than the other don't know the reason why but probably there's more of a commitment towards one than the other but the other is still very important we're gonna go and see um, a little deeper but this is it you know this could be one of these situations you're not quite seeing there's something going on then I uh, took my uh, this deck here good, good the good tarot and the first card that came out is the page of fire beautiful card full of beautiful energy this fire is always about um, moving forward fast you know determination adventure uh, it's like a Sagittarian energy there. Um, so there's this person has a lot of passion and a lot of emotions for you. Okay? A lot of passion and emotions for you. Um, this is also a young energy as well, probably a little bit younger than you, and he is uh, also a messenger, so he is coming in with an offer as well. So this is probably, I would say, I'm feeling like it's this person, the same person, just being determined here and coming forward maybe and so with the timeline i don't know when this could happen but you know i the, the time is july 15th to the end of the month but it could be later than this could be could have already happened also followed by the queen of earth which i feel is you here um very grounded a grounded energy might not be you <laughs> depending if the situation is making you a little ooh, not grounded but in general you're a very grounded person you are very nurturing you've built a lot you've built you've built an empire for yourself you are a queen <laughs> you are a queen and I think this person feels you are his queen and so he's probably coming towards you um, anyway his energy is coming towards you whether he comes towards you or not I'm not sure but there's feelings there there's feelings there and then we have the ten of earth here which is another card of abundance this is like a ten is like a ten you know on a scale of one to ten it's a ten it's pretty good um, lots of love um, money uh, you know the outcome is pretty good um, it's a lot of happiness surrounding this card as well um, also what I'm getting This Queen of Earth, she is not messing around. She's not messing around here. You see, okay, she has gone through so much that you look at the determination and the, you know what, I'm not messing around, that's it. So that's what is happening right now. Um, and so, sorry about that. My child knows I'm <laughs> making a video and he came in, but anyway, hopefully he understood. Um, so much abundance here. The cards seem to be confirming the top ones. Um, and there's still a mystery. There's still a mystery happening. 
okay? It's coming up. Uh, the High Priestess here, she is, um, she's very spiritual. This is a very spiritual person. She um, is very uh, awakened, ascended. And the Empress is also a very strong and nurturing, motherly-like type person, okay? Um, so you've got two energies, two feminine energies, two very strong feminine energies. And you have the Two of Pentacles here. Um, the Two of Pentacles is about somebody juggling possibly two people, third party situation. This kind of looks like this, don't you find? A little bit. And so it could be that, could be that it's not that. This could be your energy right here, just very strong. Um, him also, he could have that energy, uh, feminine energy. Uh, whereas as somebody that's very spiritual or getting there, He's probably getting there, looking inside. And then you have the juggling of the two. Um, if, it's, if it's two women, if it's third parties, juggling of the two. If it's not, it's uh, also a conflict between the heart and the mind, where somebody here is really like nurturing and all this is more like, and this is more spiritual card, so. A conflict maybe so not sure about what to do you know not sure about the decision gosh I'm reading it even a little differently than I have originally so I wonder what that means um, and then after that I took my okay so this was the this the everyday tarot deck sorry I forgot to introduce it and now um, I'm gonna be reading from my cats my pagan cats deck it's a very cute deck I love this deck so the first card that came out is the Sun so no worries things are no matter what it's just things are turning out great right there there's the sun you are probably this person that you're reading for or that you're inquiring about you are their son you're their queen you're their son that's how they feel doesn't keep them from waiting and not coming forward and not right yet not saying not coming forward because we know somebody's coming forward might not be him might be someone else but right here is the hermit, and so that's somebody going within themselves. It could be you as well, going and doing some inner work. You know, taking time for yourself, checking in, you know. Sometimes some situations can be so overwhelming that we get lost in them, and we really just need to retreat and look inside. And um, the cards ended, these cards ended with a Ten of Cups, and that's, uh, again, 10 a 10 is a 10 <laughs> 10 is just awesome that's all you want is the tens all over and this is a 10 right here and a 10 is abundance of love 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 celebration with family and friends um celebrating shared goals here just great gatherings all the time and it's just a happy heart happy heart and the last deck i pulled from is this deck right here which is the chakra wisdom oracle deck this is my latest one i love it so the first card that came out is the card of faith and this here's spirit is telling you to have faith that things are just going to work out have faith that things are presently working out the way they are supposed to be working out they're just that's how they're supposed to work out Whatever's going on right now, even if you're like just pulling your hair out, this is what's supposed to happen. There's a purpose for it happening this way. Okay? If you tap into inside, you probably know maybe why this is happening. So it's to have faith even to even if you don't know what's going on right now. If you don't don't know the whole story. You just have faith and just 
um, move forward taking care of yourself you know and then after that here you have the guilt card the guilt card um, it's not about feeling guilty it's more about um, looking at your past and maybe um, well, hold on I'm just gonna read it because they say it so well in here it's just worth it um, This card indicates deep caring and protection from emotional hurt through standing strong in your emotions. There is great inner resolve here. Once your mind is made up, you can see when others have tried to manipulate you. Reclaim your life. And no. So this is about having faith, having faith in yourself. Um, it's also about... Um, it's also about... Gosh, I get easily distracted by my son. <laughs> also, guys, when we don't know everything, this is what I wanted to say, and I didn't want, I lost my idea, but when when um, when we don't know everything, it's a protection. It's like we're protected, as I said before, you know, with this card here, you know, we're protected. It, it's, a, it's a kind of a protection that we don't see right away. It makes us sad. But then we're like, oh, oh, yeah, maybe it was better I didn't know this. And then uh, the last card of the reading is mysticism. And that says it all, doesn't it? And it's a very positive card because it says that same exact thing. It says it. You don't know everything. And you don't even need to know everything you're, it's not your business, actually. <laughs> Whatever it is that's going on, this little drama behind the scenes, there is a drama behind the scenes that's happening, and it's none of your business. It doesn't change, and I don't think you want to know, um, even if you probably do want to know. But I don't think in the end that you want to know. But I'll read it to you, mysticism. It's This is a time of trusting in the unknown. There you go. You already sense the answer, even if it's not apparent. Do not ask others what they see, for you alone can see into the heart of the matter. Trust your intuitive powers to guide you. So, basically, just take care of your business right now. It's hard to detach. Just accept that you don't know everything that you might you might find out that there is somebody coming with an offer, maybe an offer of truth, at least a conversation, possibly. And just trust in that and trust that you're being taken care of because look, this stuff, this is, this is all happening. This stuff is all coming or it's happening already with the sun, with the sun, the sun, with the sun, remember. Okay, so thank you guys, um, and uh, please share, uh, subscribe, share, like, comment on my video. Please let me know if it resonated with you, um, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.